Now we're getting really deep down into this, into the wood here. That's a cool trail. And literally, almost no one is going on it. And for this, where I just want to go wah, 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 and put along and keep good traction, well, this motor and this package is, is uh, whoa, this is steep. It's delivering. Deeper than looks, guys. And this thing just gutted it, gutted it out, up it. I think this is the end of my line here. Because it'd be a lot of work to get over those, and it's like a maze of deadfall. So, let's see if we can get this thing spun around. A little bit of a pivot turn into that tree there. Up on the pegs again. See if I can stay high on all this stuff on the way out. I've got no problem with this, with the handling. The uh, forks are doing fine. Um, it's easy to maneuver. It's not doing anything stupid. I can't blame anything that has happened to me. I've laid it down on both sides here on this on the ride, but that wasn't the bike's fault. Both times I just washed the front wheel out. I'm not going to blame the suspension or the chassis for that because I think it was my fault. Um, but yeah, this is exactly what it's supposed to be doing, guys. This slow putt putt stuff. Hopping logs and climbing over tree roots and dodging trees. That's what this thing is made for, right? And that's what I'm doing with it. Explain something to me, guys. With every other dirt bike that I have ever been on, when you move your left thumb over to uh, kill the bike, there's a button right there, you hit it and it kills it. On this bike, your left thumb where the kill switch should be is a horn. The only way for you to stall the bike, to kill the bike is with this button up here. The problem with that is I clutch with, I don't know about you, but I clutch with my index finger and my middle finger. Um, Every once in a while, I'll pull all three fingers up there to, to grab the clutch, but you can't kill this bike unless you have the brake on. And I mean, the only way for you to kill the bike is to bring that index finger off the clutch and then hit that button. Dude, wh why, do you have to, why do we have to reinvent the kill switch and put it in a place where it's not supposed to be? Um, so yeah, you, you can't kill the bike unless you have your index finger free in order to come over like that trees in order to come on top like this you've got to let you've got to have that index finger off and that is that's annoying i mean seriously every other dirt bike i have ever been on has a kill switch in that same spot this one has a horn right there and i'm just going was that really necessary <laughs> put the horn on the front this is a dirt bike the horn is something that you're not going to be using that often. So let's put it on the front so that we can beep with our index fingers, not with our thumbs when we want to uh, shut the bike off. End of rant. I'll bet you a hundred bucks the race bike doesn't have a horn where the kill switch should be. Oh, crisis averted. I figured out where my misstep was and Got back on my trail here. The bike gets phenomenal traction. 
we've got a wide tire on the back of this it's got that michelin uh enduro competition 140 uh, like a 140 118 and uh, it's a really wide tire so it gets tons of tons of traction there's a lot of rubber down and then with this smooth power delivery of this uh, 300 two-stroke motor it just really you know does well uh, not breaking traction that's something to like something to uh, something to note getting close to the uh, spot that waterfall on the tree is I'm gonna have to maybe adjust my rear brake up just a touch bring it a little bit closer to my toe um, so I don't because I feel like I have to reach down a little bit further than I want to to actuate that rear brake front of the handlebars and not grab when you don't have handguards a lot of times you go through trees and those trees and branches kind of pull on your controls um, it's not a terrible it's not like a super huge problem on the clutch side a lot of times um, but it can be an issue on the brake side here on the right hand side because it can grab that brake and make you give brake when you don't want to get brake oh dang it we got sucked down into that loose very loose leg over and be gone. Whoa. I do not want to be down that thing. Wow, that is straight down, probably 80 feet down into that uh, water. And I about dropped my front wheel right down into that. Into the point of no return. That would not be good. I gotta be watching, man, or I'm gonna get down in that. I gotta stop looking at the river. Start looking at the trail. Got like a little rock in my glove. It's right here under my ring finger, or I mean my middle finger. I gotta stop and get it out. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.